guys. Good evening. Good evening. Can you listen to me? Hello. Hi, teacher. Hey, hello. It's it's Friday. <laughs> For us, it's Friday. <laughs> it's, it's our last day of, of class in this week, right? And um, well, welcome. I see mm -hmm. Andrea. Daniel, uh, Jonathan, oh, Evelyn, and Jenny, and Angie, who is with her cam open. Thank you so much for connecting, guys. It's already eight. We need to start our session. Today we have session number 12. So basically, we only have like, including this session, five more, and then this course is over, right? And um, so make sure you guys have until section, I mean, yeah, section number four completed because that is required for you to, you know, be up to date, okay? So how was your day? Jenny, welcome, how was your day? It was fine, a lot of work to do. I I find I was working in the platform. Yeah, and do you have any question on that specific? I don't know exercise. No, no. I I did it. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. So basically, you have no questions. Everything has has um been easy to complete. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. And how about the other ones, guys? How are you doing? Any any question that you might have that you want to um ask? Angie, Jeffer, any questions? Welcome. No, I, I don't have. No questions. That's really good. Welcome, no. Giovanni. Welcome, Emma. How are you doing, guys? I'm fine. Thank you. Awesome. That's that's great to hear. It's Friday for us. Yeah. <laughs> Our last day of class. And then, well, um, so yesterday we talked about um, three things, let's say, three topics. And one of them was to express um, obligation, right? Who remembers the other two ones that we talked about yesterday? Oh, permission. Permission and draw. Um, permission. Okay, permission. Uh -huh. Interesting. So please let's recall this topic. Uh, you guys have an assignment for today, right? And I don't know if you had the time to practice or to maybe communicate uh, during the day with your classmate to practice this conversation because the purpose of this, this uh, activity is that you guys really um, play the role, right? Play the role of uh, any um, scenario chosen by you. All right, so we have here, this is session 12. So welcome once again. And um, we have permission, obligation, and prohibition, right? These are the three things. Remind me about the uh, the modal verbs we use for permission, guys. Well, what's the one that we use? The ones we use? What are the structures we said? Yes. May. Okay, we and use may. Mm -hmm. And what was? Okay, yes. Yesterday we suggested in the scenarios we gave, we can use can too, right? And what about um, obligation? Anything that you can recall from yesterday's session? We said, okay, any other? Have to. Yes. And what about prohibition? Yes. Can. Can. Okay. Uh, there's one more. We talked. Uh, about... Cool. No, but you are in alone. Exactly. Yeah, we can use um, aren't allowed, which is uh, basically an um, construction with verb to be plus the verb 
uh, allowed allowed which is be allowed to do something or be or um, b plus not allowed and the second i mean the very the main very goes in ed right allowed allowed you are not allowed to do something is not permitted here for example okay so let's uh start working on today's session main uh topic where we're going to be discussing about same things same topics but this time, you guys are going to share something like this. Let me see. This is what I asked you to do yesterday to create a short dialogue. And I remember that I gave you these instructions, right? That you guys were going to choose one scenario and it can be any of these three, I said, parents, children, boss, employee, teacher, student. But then if you uh, wanted to change and think about other roles in which you give uh, any of these options, obligations, or you express uh, permission, it's okay, right? These are the scenarios that I provided you because I consider most of the time, uh, well, parents are the ones who uh, sometimes, um, let's say prohibit or oblige or obligates their kids to do specific activities and when you are a boss you tend to give you know sometimes permission or you request things to be done as you want and sometimes teachers you know tend to have this role uh, with students so um the dialogue must contain these um expressions or these structures but then uh don't make it short make it uh, you know like a conversation as it should be right uh, if it is a meeting, maybe you want to start like introducing yourself or me or greeting and, and then you start, you know, using these structures. Uh, let's see how many are we? We are 12. Okay. Uh, from the 12 uh, that we are connected at, as of now, uh, I would like to know if you guys have the idea on what you're going to talk. Or do you see this on time? Were you able to communicate with your with your peers? No, during the day. Yes, you did. Yes, yes. yeah, yeah. Me. Mm -hmm. Or do you need maybe a couple of minutes to brush up your ideas and practice? Are you ready to start? This time, <laughs> I would I wouldn't like you to improvise. This time, I would like you to have something like more structure. So you tell me, you need at least a couple of minutes to practice, and then we start sharing what we have. And if it is possible, if you have your um, conversations written down, I want you to share them with me on, on the WhatsApp group, okay? You send me the full conversation because I want to see them as well. So everybody can see them too, okay? So if you have it, I wanna see it. So uh, tell me, do you need some time? Because I can, you tell me who you're gonna be working with and I can uh, create the groups. Let's see, uh, Angie, who did you work with? Uh, with Jenny. Jenny. Yes. Jenny, Jenny is here. And then Angie, mm -hmm. who else? Only you two? Yes. yes. Okay. So we have two people here. Do, do you want uh, I share you the conversation? Well, I would like to give you some time so you can practice. Okay. It and, then, and then let's see, uh, who else is missing? Jeffrey, who did you work with? With Melissa. Alfaro. Melissa. So we have Melissa and also Jeffrey. Only you two? Yes. Okay. Yes. And then let's see, Emma, who did you work with? Emma? With Evelyn. You say? With Evelyn. With Evelyn, okay. Only you two? Yes. Okay. Let's see. And then we have, um, who's missing? I have Daniel, Giovanni, Reina, Stephanie, and Wendy. Guys, who did you work? Daniel, who do you work with? Daniel? Who did you work? Necesito alguien que me enseñe. 
Okay. Oh. Daniel, choose one. We have Giovanni, Reina, Stephanie, and Wendy. Who do you want to work with? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see, guys. Um, Giovanni, who did you work with? Giovanni? Um, my case, um, I don't work with, uh, with them, but um, I need a volunteer. <laughs> so let, why don't you work with uh then daniel and, and okay and daniel giovanni. And giovanni. Right. okay and then we are going to assign uh, the next one this time uh let's see andrea who did you work with andrea andrea who did you work with Maybe Andrea is not connected. Gustavo, who did you work? Welcome, Gustavo. Who did you work with? Uh, with Josman and Jose Peña. Oh, they're not connected yet. Wow. So uh, maybe Gustavo, I'm going to, uh, since I know you already have a group, I'm going to ask you for a favor. I'm going to assign you with, um, Let's see with Daniel and Giovanni so you can help then, you know. Okay, let's see what else. Yeah, only two. Then let me see. If, and then I'm going to, what about the ones that are missing? Reina, Stephanie, Wendy, who do you guys work with? Uh, I was working with Daniel, but I guess that is another Daniel. I, I don't remember the last name. Okay, so in this case, Reina, then I'm going to assign you with Gustavo. Gustavo doesn't have a group. And then when, let's see, Wendy, Abigail, and Stephanie Pozuelo, who do you, I'm going to assign. La voy a asignar a ustedes dos. Okay, así no, no voy a, a, este, a, a, este, a quitar a nadie de los que ya tienen ideas creadas. Le voy a dar, I'm going to give you five minutes of practice. How can you do it, okay? Simple as this. First, think about the scenario. If it is a teacher and student, this must, must take place at school. If it is a parent and also kids, this must take place at home, at work, you know, boss and employee. And think about any situation in which you want to start building up a conversation, okay? That's the way you have to have it write it down because I do want you to share with us the, the conversation, the one you're going to create. I'm going to be here. If you have questions, please raise your hand. I'm going to be uh, like going to your groups to work with you as well. Okay. I don't know if, if you have any question before I um, send you guys to the, the groups. No questions. Okay. All right, here we go. Pero uh, 
I need to go out early today, for example. Uh -huh. Temprano, ahora. Temprano. Uh -huh. Okay. May I go out? May I go out early today? Hello, Osman. Um, your partner was waiting for you, Osman. Um, Gustavo y José. Lo voy a mandar con Gustavo. Gustavo le hemos asignado con ahorita con una persona, pero estaba esperando la usted, así que lo voy a asignar con él y dígale que se va a incorporar. Ok, here we go. Hello, hello, Daniel. Hello. Hello, hello. Who do you work with? ¿Con quién trabajó en la en diálogo? Eh, se llama my, my, my partner is Marina, María, Marina, Mariana, algo así se llama. Ajá. Son sin la edad. Ya le digo cómo se llama. Quiero ver. Se llama. Reina, 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 reina. reina, reina. Vaya, lo voy a mandar con ella, este para que trabaje este con, con reina. Reina ya le acabo de asignar a otro grupo, pero ahí lo voy, le voy a mandar para que usted le para que, para, para que quemos, ¿no? Exactamente. Permíteme, reina. Okay, está teacher, trabajando. Okay, All right. This meeting is being recorded. Um, Hello. Reina. I'm sorry. You're my partner. Yes, Gustavo. I guess that we are going to work together with Gustavo. Guys, okay, uh, no problem. Guys, sorry, sorry. Um, si gustan, if you like, I can uh, move Reina and Daniel to another group so Hosman and Gustavo can work. Or you tell me what do you want to do? Uh, no problem. problem. But we already have an idea with Gustavo, teacher. Perfect. So, in this case, I'm going to leave you guys here. And then if you have something prepared already, Reina and Daniel, you can also practice, okay? No, and then you... uh, Reina and Gustavo. Uh, Reina and Gustavo, uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Reina and Gustavo. And then, Hosman, what about you, we can, we can use uh, more role, like, we are talking about father and son, so we can be three sons or father and mother and two sons. Sounds awesome. Do it, do it like that. I like that idea, okay? So that's that's great. I'm gonna give you like five more minutes, maybe the most, and then I'll, I'll call you to the main session, okay? Okay. All right, good, thank you so much. Teacher, okay. we have a question. What is it? Uh, we are talking about uh, when we ask a question with may, the answer is uh, just you may or just you can. It has to be answered with the same the same model. So if you say may, it has to be may. For example, um, may I uh, may I go to the restaurant? You you have to tell me and yes. 
Or you can say yes, you may, but then uh, not necessarily with this with this um, expression. I mean, if you ask me what is the appropriate one, I would say if you ask with may, you answer with may. But may also accept other expressions. For example, sure, no problem. Go ahead, do it. Of course, depends, right? So you can use expressions to uh, say that you uh, you agree, or you can use an expression to say that you disagree. But then um, if you use can, still it sounds, give me an example. I want to I want to hear it if it makes sense and if it, if it sounds natural, because I don't wanna say no when it might be possible, right? Because not necessarily you have to limit yourself to one thing, because that's something that I learned that sometimes we kind of like limit things and in the real world, it's not like that. You can say, but it, because this is not a test, right? If it was a test, then I would say only may, because you are being asked with may. But if it's a conversation, make it sound natural. That's the point, okay? I don't know if I can transmit the idea. Uh, yeah. on, on real tests, you answer with the same model, but then like conversational, then, I mean, you can use other, other, other expressions, okay? What is the question you want to ask or you want to um, include? Uh, in our case is, uh, yes, teacher, may we go to the restroom during the class? Mm -hmm. You can say, uh, sure, no problem. Or you can say, um, you want to use can, right? Yes, yeah, you, you, can, you can go. Or, or you may go. You may go. Sounds good. Use may. Mm -hmm. And then, or if you don't use may, use any other expression to, um, to, to specify that you are in, in an agreement, okay? So maybe my answer would be, Jeffer, as long as it, it makes sense, do it. And I'm telling you this because uh, one, one day an American told me, you don't have to limit your answer to one thing as long as the meaning is transmitted. So if I, if a male would tell you, you know, the meaning, if you understand it, so let it flow because we are just talking, okay? But if you're taking a test, then remember that it's only the model you being asked that you're going to answer. So let's imagine this. Um, you have three options and then one has may, this is the answer because you're being asked with may in real like test or standardized test, standardized test, okay? So make it sound natural and uh, I'll give you maybe three more minutes because I have given you already like 10, okay? And, all right, keep practicing. Okay. Thank, Thank you, teacher. All right. I, I, I have a, a, a daughter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a daughter. She has um, 19 years old. Wow. <laughs> she almost, she, she is a, um, she has a dog right now. She is in the university right now. Wow. What career? Mm -hmm. That she she study um, graphic design mm -hmm. diseño gráfico no sé si uh -huh. se dice diseño gráfico <laughs> graphic design graphic design ajá uh -huh. <laughs> okay teacher <laughs> the teacher is, is <laughs> I can see you are talking. And you know what? I have given you a lot of time because your, your classmates, they are preparing. You are ready, I know, since the beginning, you wanted to show me the conversation, but then your classmates are still working on the conversation. So that's why I have given you a lot of time, but I'm glad you are speaking in English, which is really cool. I didn't <laughs> know, Angie, you have a daughter that Yeah, I have, that age. I have a daughter. <laughs> and, so she has 19 years old. Oh, she's 19. Wow. Yeah, you she has 19. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Don't you have a kid? No, no, not yet. I'm not even married. I think I should. <laughs> <In> never. <laughs> never. No. Never. 
oh, I think it's a lot of responsibility. Yes. <laughs> and and Jenny, but I think it's another stage of, of your life. I mean, being a being a father or being a mother is an experience that we all want to experience in a, in some time of our life. But then I know it's but not, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and what, about, what about you, Jenny? Do you have Thank kids? You. No. No kids. I don't have. You see. <laughs> okay. Maybe, right? We don't know. Yes. It's, it's around Not the yet. corner. Not yet. Not yet. Exactly. <laughs> Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're you're practicing English. I'm going to check the other groups. If they are ready, I'm going to call you back to the main session, okay? Okay. All you. right, good. This meeting is being recorded. We finished. Yes, we already finished. You finished already, okay, yes, thank you. I know it's been like a lot of time, but your partners were working on that. So let me check on what they are doing and then I'll call you back to the main room, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I can see some other faces now with the camera open. Giovanni, now you turn it off, come on. And Daniel, <laughs> you see, and Daniel is, are you guys ready? I was giving you some time. Daniel is also here. It's my first time that I see you guys. And you see, this is our session number 12. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember having seen you. I don't know. Why, why don't we do something? Let's see. Reina, can you turn your camera on? Stephanie, Wendy, Osman, Evelyn, Emma, can you guys turn your cameras on? It's okay. I mean, we're just, you know. Estamos despeinados. It's, it's all right at the end. I mean, uh, it's okay. You see, Evelyn, Evelyn Mariela, okay, Osman. Uh, Emma, ya le vaya. Evelyn, no me acuerdo haberla visto. Hasta ahorita. Emma, ahorita, sí. caño. E Evelyn, Emma, sí. Reina, Wendy. Hello, Reina. Ah, Reina, primera vez que la veo, Reina. My first time. Ok. Emma apagó la cama rapidito, Emma. Ok, you see. Y uno tiene celulares de alta gama, se ve clarito, yo todo amarillo me veo aquí. Mi... <risa> ¿Y qué tengo aquí? Miren, tengo aquí para cambiarme color, ve, uy. <risa> Así que salgo ahí todo rojo. Emma, solo Wendy no quiso. Y Stephanie. Well, esta, this exercise of um, role playing, it's interesting and it's a way of maybe exaggerating a little bit because uh, you have to play the role. If you have never been a father and now your role is to be a father, you know, now you have to assume, take the role. If you are not a boss and you decided to be a boss, now you, I want you to act like a boss and so on and so forth. And well, there was a group who told me they were going to prepare something like 
uh, maybe a family, like mother, father, and then kids. I would like to listen to this group. So do you want to start <laughs> or, or do you want to start? Let's listen to you guys. Who was that group? Who's gonna take the lead? Teacher, Jeffrey and me are ready. Okay, so you, okay, that's really good. Let's listen then Jeffrey and Melissa, and then we give chance to the other ones. Go ahead. Uh, in our case, the scenario is a classroom, and it's the first day of class. And I, we will start. Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to your first day of class. Good morning, teacher. Uh, first, let's know the rule of coexistence. You haven't used the cell phone on classroom. Uh, you are allowed to drink water on class and you can eat in the classroom. You must do the homework every day. Do you have any question? Yes, teacher. May we go to the restroom during the class? Yes, you may. Are we allowed to take photos to the whiteboard? Uh, yes, you are allowed, but without using the flash. Are we allowed to use our computer? Yes, you are allowed, but please turn off the sound. Thank you, teacher. I don't have more questions. And finish. <laughs> Claps for this group, guys. Use your reactions, you know. You like it, you loved it. I want to see your reactions. I like, you know, this is this is something that I love because I can I can hear you like you have thought about how can you include, you know, your um, I mean these structures, and that's the challenge. And I like that they they said, okay, I'm, we're gonna talk about coexisting rules, and that was really like accurate, you know. That's why I like it. Okay, do you know what coexisting rules are, guys? Everybody knows what this is. Those are in case coexisting rules. Yes. Coexisting rules. It's like normal de convivencia or something like that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's leave it like that. Thank you so much. Great. And then uh, I just wanted to say um, congratulations on that. And that was really good. Really smart move. Okay. Now we are going to listen to uh, Evelyn and Emma. They want to go next. They just asked me to do it. So go ahead, ladies. Uh, the scenario is uh, at home, and we are on a direct. Hi, Mom. How was your day? Mm, I'm fine. Just a little tired. I have a lot of work to do at the office. And what is this mess? Can you please pick up your clothes and your shoes? Yes, Mom. I'm sorry. By the way, Seth is doing a party on Friday to celebrate her birthday. Can I go? Where is going to be the party? At Sophie's home. Is Sophie's mom going to be there? I don't know, mom. Mm, so, no, you can't. You have to do your homework and clean, your, clean up your room. I already finished my homework and I cleaned my room. Can I go now? Well, if you finished all your responsibilities, you are allowed to go to the party. Thanks, mom. Great. You see reactions to your to your peers. And I see your reactions, guys. Reactions to, to them. Good. You know, I see some people reacting, Angie and Melissa. Good job. I thought Emma was going to say, no, you can't. <laughs> do something else but then Emma is you know really assertive she said okay now that you are you have complied with your responsibilities you are allowed to go that's really good that was really good thank you so much you see we have had two scenarios really good ones I want to hear the third one who wants, who wants to go next okay all right go. Thank you. 
Kan ji, kan ji. Okay. Okay. Uh, our yeah. scenario is is the classroom. Okay. Hi. Good morning. I am Jenny Campos. I'm the new English teacher. Good morning, teacher. How are you? Good teacher, thanks. Welcome to the intermedio course level three. Uh, there are some rules in the classroom. Rules? Yes. You can drink water in the classroom and you are allowed to take your shoes. Are we uh, have some are we have some obligation, teacher? Yes, you have to do the homework and you have to to pass the exam with seventh grade. Any prohibition, teacher? Yes. Um, you can eat you can't eat food in the classroom and 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 you are allowed to copy the exam. Do you have some? Uh, no, no, no. Sorry. Jenny? Uh, do, do you have some question? No, teacher. We Any other question? Everything. No, teacher. We understand everything you say. I, I love I love students like that. Very obedient students. <laughs> Not teacher as as you would like to. <laughs> okay, that's really good. So thank you so much. Reactions, reactions, reactions. Let's see. Only one. Nobody's reacting. Okay, I have two, three. Okay, really good. I like it. We are going to finish. Uh, I think we are missing two groups, right? So let's um let's listen to them. Next ones. Go. Who wants to go next? Reina. Yeah. Osman and David. Okay. 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 <laughs> we're gonna starring. We're we're gonna be starring a family in a normal Saturday. Uh, hi, mom. Hi, son. How are you? Well. Pretty good. Can I can I ask you for something? Mm, well, tell me. Can my brother and me go to a party tonight? Uh, to be honest, I disagree because uh, I'm really worried about the pandemic. So, to me, you can. But if you want, you can ask to your dad. Oh, hey. Josma, can you ask to, to Dal if we are allowed to go out tonight? Okay, yes. Good dar on the region the father and permission. Go. Hi father, how are you? Hi, my son. How are you today? Okay, very good. Father, uh, and you give me permission to go to a party tonight with my brother Gustavo. A party? And yes. In the, in a little moment. Yeah, in a little night. moment, teacher. Yes. I think I think it's so dangerous. Dangerous. We will, will back, we will back early, around 2 or 3 a.m. Ah, oh, really? Good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And I don't know, I don't know. For me, it's so dangerous and difficult for the pandemic. But we will say it. I have one question for both. Okay. And, and you, we did, we did your homework. Yet finished our work. <laughs> really, really. Yes, really, really. The English homework. Finish, finish class and uh, an exam. Uh, ask to mom. Okay. You know, she, well, she knows. She knows. Well, okay. Well, well, well. But but I have one condition. More one condition. One condition. Uh, I need to have. Uh, we have a uh, clean the house tomorrow morning. Uh, it's good for you. 
Okay, okay. No, problem. no problem. No problem, no problem. No. Well, well. Okay. Uh, you can go out for the party then. Take okay. care. Thank you for Take care. Okay. Take care. So what one more thing? Can you Take let us go? Can you let us your car? To go oh, okay. Can you drive a lot no. of very you can you can drive very well? Really well. Okay. Well, uh, we can use my car. No problem. Bye. -bye. Okay. Thank you, Mom. Okay. Thank father, you, father, father, father. <laughs> for both, for both. Okay. Okay, you know, that was really good. I would like it, you know. You see, that was awesome. Well, I can, I could see you like trying to, I mean, you really played that role, you know. That was cool, so cool. Thank you guys for doing such a great uh, work. Okay, so that's cool. Let's listen to our last participation. Actually, there are two more participations, right? Let's see. Next ones, Daniel and Giovanni, I think, are missing. Okay. Uh, are you ready, Daniel? <laughs> I am ready. Okay. For example, my or scenario is today is the last day of the month, and I have to leave early because I have uh, more option to, to go out at the party, but I need to leave early today. Friday, it's Friday. But in this moment, I have to pay uh, permissions. For example, hi, Daniel, my favorite boss. Uh, hi, Giovanni. Okay. May I go out early today? Mm, yes. If you is you you if you is you yes. If you is you must finish the report. If I finish my report, yes. May I go early today? Mm, but fear the most finished report. Oh, sorry, but I didn't finish my report. <coughs> can can I do it tomorrow? Mm, if you finish the report, you can go. Oh, sorry, but I I need to go out. Please, I have to pay my monthly bills. For example, I have to pay my college, the college of my son. I have to pay um, the gas, the cable. I have to pay to my girlfriend. <laughs> May I go early today, please? Uh, I'm sorry. Wow, your house come here. Okay. I will be the report today. You, you are my favorite boss, but please, I need to go out early. Please. You must have your work on your priority. Okay. Sorry, I have to make the report. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Giovanni. I'm sorry. Daniel says no and no. Okay. It doesn't matter if your cable, you know, it's already overdue, if you haven't paid your bill, so you have to do your report. Okay. Daniel must be a really serious boss, I can see. He was like, Right, he didn't say like, okay, you have to do it. No options. That was good, guys. Thank you so much. So your girlfriend at the end, you know, is not priority. <laughs> <laughs> Second place. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was really good. I don't know if uh, the ones that are missing, because I haven't seen you guys. Um, maybe, I don't know if you want to participate. Stephanie and Wendy, do you want to try?
No. El Ay, profesor me dijo que no, no sabía mucho sobre el tema. Okay, we can help you. What, what do you, ¿Qué han escrito? ¿Qué han escrito, chicas? What do you have? La idea es crear un escenario. ¿Ya fijaron cómo lo han creado los compañeros? La verdad es que se han mandado un escenario bien, bien, bien poco tiempo. Um, pensar en cómo podemos usar las, las estructuras gramaticales que hemos visto de una manera. ¿verdad? I can, be allowed to, uh, may. That was the purpose, right? Y la verdad es que los, I mean, everybody has used them. That's the point. Like create a conversation in which you can use all this structure. Not, not maybe not all of them, but the majority. So that's the point. I don't know if you want to try it, Stephanie. Uh -huh. What about if we, if I give you some time, maybe you think about it on the weekend, like, and then uh, you do it on Monday. You have more time, try to um, get in contact with one another, and then you practice for more. Right? Do when I hear you. Think about one scenario, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I practice uh, Monday week, mm -hmm. and Monday I try to Wendy. Sounds awesome to me, okay? No problem. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, yes. Okay, thank you so much. Then we are going to start. I want to show you something really quick. Let me see. Okay, one second. Um, so we're going to just take a look at these guys. Do you see the screen? Are you serious on the phone? <laughs> Can you repeat the screen, please? <laughs> Look at this. One. Look at this other one. Serious, laughing, and this is the last one. I don't know. I try to. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna repeat the screen maybe in, in the very last day, so we have a cool one for for uh, you know memory. All right, so let's um, let's do something. I'm going to uh, share now um, some ideas that I wanted to share with you. And let me give me a second. This is the one. Here we go. Just to um, let's see to sum up with the ideas. We have um, this. We can use a can for permission and request in English, right? We have said this already. Now, um, can you think about uh, and let's say a question or a statement when you use can to ask for something. Can you use can to ask me something or to ask something to somebody? How can you give me an example? It's not the same when you ask for something, when you ask something to be done, it's different. Or maybe when you ask other people to do something for you. I think I'm gonna give you some examples so you know what I'm talking about. Look, um, can I open the window in here? You're asking for something. Can we sit here? Can I have two coffees and a Coke, please? Can you help me? So can you create one example? Maybe choose any of these options and use can, only one, because uh, there's not much time. You can just say it. Anybody, use can. Permission can you explain? <laughs> the topic again for example <laughs> yeah okay all right any other teacher uh -huh. can you share the presentation please okay yeah <laughs> that will be a request right can you okay. please close the door please okay. can you please close the door <laughs> all right sounds perfect sounds perfect I know you guys are doing really good. and are you anticipating my next slide you add please when you want to sound more polite, right? Of course, you can say uh, you can say it at the end, right? At the end of the question, and we have some examples. You know, can you get me the menu, please? Can you tell me the time, please? And then please make make it more polite, right? Somebody already provided an example, so we're not gonna stop here. We're going to move on. Uh, and how to, Jeffer? Yeah, every time the word please. Yes, at the end. Uh, yes, because let me see. 
can you yeah you cannot say in the middle let me see please no it doesn't sound it doesn't make i mean it sounds weird when you when you use uh please at the beginning uh, and in the middle let me, let me see no it's most of the time at the end yeah yeah maybe uh if you say it in the middle it might sound kind of strange because it's not like that you add it at the end okay and how do you respond to this guys Let's see, if I ask you, Jeffrey, can you tell me the time, please? What do you say? Can you, can you buy me the blouse, please? <laughs> okay, and then how do, you, how do you respond to this? When I say, can you tell me the time? What do you say to, as, a, as a form of replying to my question? What expression do you say? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can. Okay. And then, or can we use any other to sound more natural? What do you say? Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. okay. Of course. Okay, take a look at the one that I got you. Of course, sure. You guys, I think you saw my presentation. Sure, of course, or certainly. Exactly, you can say that. So let's not limit ourselves to reply only with the modal burns you are, you are being asked, which is recommended, of course. But then there are other ways to respond when you want to um, respond positively to, the, to that request. So of course, sure, certainly, these are some others. Let's continue. And then uh, look at this one. Can I open the window in here? Sure, go ahead. No problem, no worries. Yes, sure. Yes, of course you can. So in other words, we can also use expressions to reply to any request that is not the same as in the question. Like it's not the same model that you are using to ask, okay? I know you know this, but sometimes it's good to, to remember this type of things. So you don't, you don't only say, yes, you can, or, or uh, no, you can't. So you have these other options, okay? Let's continue. We only have five minutes and let's see. Uh, prohibition, we use can't and mustn't, right? Um, I know you have cleared this idea, but I want to hear some um, somebody practicing or reading these three examples. Maybe, um, I don't know, let's see. Stephanie, would you, would you like to try reading these three sentences here? Okay, you can go into the restaurant without a tie, mm -hmm. and you can drive in this country unless you are over 18, mm -hmm. and you mustn't use your phone in class. Okay, thank you so much. Do all of this apply? And the pronunciation mustn't. Mustn't. Mustn't, yes, you said. Great. Yes, mustn't. Mustn't? Okay. As you mustn't. said it, really good. And do all of these uh, statements apply in our country? Do they all apply in our country or not? Yes. Only the two? Only the only number two. You can't try in this country unless you are over. Yeah. Hmm. Um. I have seen people like underage driving cars. You can drive at 15, I think. Right, 15. Do, do you get a driving license uh, if you are not 18? Because I'm not sure. I think yeah, you, you can. You, you can, can, right? Licencia de menor de edad. Underage license driving. Uh, <laughs> so that's temporary. I didn't know about that. And what about this one? You can't go into a restaurant without a tie. No, right. If you can enter into McDonald's if you don't have a tie, that's not that's not <laughs> country. Right? It'll be weird. Nobody will go then, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's continue. Uh, I think the last ideas. Give me a second. I want to share it. Uh, here we go. Obligation, right? And then have to and mustn't. Look, we have some examples. Let's see, I want to ask this time I need, uh, let's see, Osman, can you read the first three sentences? Oof. We have to.
Let's read it, please. We have to be. Can you see it? Wendy, maybe husband is having trouble. Can you help us? We have to be at the airport at least two hours before the flight. Mm -hmm. Second one. I have to work on Saturday. They have to wear the uniform at a school. I must have in my thesis by tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I must call my parents. I must call my parents. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, about this, this word is recommended to use to pronounce it like parents. Eh, parents, it's not pies like parents. And then let's see, the other ones are okay. This is uniform, uniform, no uniform is uniform. And then everything went well. Thank you so much. Well, guys, um, as of now, I appreciate because we have finished this topic. And please go ahead and complete the task you have on the platform. And uh, if you have no questions, I'll see you until Monday, if God give us the opportunity, okay? Um, any questions? No questions? All right, no. no answers, okay? So have a nice night and see you on Monday. Bye-bye. See you Monday. Sweet dreams. Bye. Sweet dreams like the Thanks. sun. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye.